because I, I did want to go back into the Edwards story for just a quick minute here. Uh, John Edwards apparently was furious with how Nightline handled the interview uh, for ABC on Friday night. Uh, they were supposed to air it late at night, of course, as Nightline runs very late at night. But Nightline wanted to hype it up, so of course they did a little leak. So he was apparently mad with them. Uh, I think whatever. And then he went on, and you know, we didn't touch on this, and I think this is important. He lied during the interview. He said the affair started uh, after she started working for that uh, poverty campaign that he was putting together, and after she was already getting the salary of $114,000 a year, right? Uh, that's not true. The affair started before that, uh, according to all documentation and evidence that we have, that she got the job afterwards, after the affair started. And the affair continued while she was doing these webisodes, this documentary on John or pretending to do this documentary on John Edwards. She has absolutely no experience whatsoever in filmmaking or in documentary making or in webisodes or the internet, right? Now, the reason Edwards is lying about that is because he wants to um, make sure that it, this $114,000 doesn't get tied back to him, because that really is the worst part of it, politically speaking, right? As far as policy and everything else is concerned, his own family life, that's a whole other situation. But if he paid someone $114,000 salary out of a poverty group because she was having an affair with him, that's really, really bad. And by the way, that is what he did. Okay, So you can forgive him for a lot of things, and I will forgive him because I don't, his private life is his private life, and I literally, I actually don't care about it Okay, when it comes to how we govern and if he's going to run for office again. Okay, Because I'm not his friend. If I was his friend, I might judge him, right? But I'm not his friend. I don't know him. All I know is what he can and can't do for the American people, right? Uh, but this giving money to a lover to do this thing she's not qualified for, that I do care about. That, that's unacceptable. And remember, that's what happened to McGreevy, the former governor of New Jersey. He had the gay lover that he put as the head of Homeland Security for New Jersey. One, he put him in a very important role uh, he had no business uh, in holding. And number two, that gave him a lot of money to do that role. But of course, that wasn't the real role he was serving, if you know what I mean. And I think you know what I mean. So... Uh, I, John, I love, I'm not his friend, but let me address him as John. John, not buying it, and this is the wrong way to go, and it leads me to believe you're still lying about everything. Okay, I don't know about everything, but certainly a lot of things. So that leads me to my final conclusion on this. Uh, I think it is his love child. I think Real Hunter's baby is John Edwards. Here's why I think that. One, Edwards is still lying about a lot of the details on this. Number two, um, he said, oh, I'm, what are you talking about? I'm totally willing to take a paternity test. And when he said that, I was like, oh, maybe he's not the father after all, right? Uh, except later, Riel Hunter very conveniently said, oh, I will not do a paternity test. I'm sure it's not Edward's child, but I won't do a paternity test. Oh, you didn't coordinate that? Really? Really? <laughs> right? So I have a feeling that if we go, he goes on the Maury Povich show, that Maury's going to give him a, you are the father! So, I, that would be great. They've got to do that, man. Just for, just for the sake of America, they've got to do it. Um, so, yeah, Real Hunter, conveniently, she, what, she doesn't want to know who the father of her baby is? That's why she doesn't want to do a paternity test? And if she already knows who the father is and she's 100% sure, what would be the harm in a paternity test? In fact, it would clear Edwards and give everybody a little peace of mind, wouldn't it?